All right, guys, so far we have added just the HTML. We haven't had any code related to reactive forms. So let's get started in this video. In Angular, to be able to work with reactive forms, we need the reactive forms module. So the very first step, open app.module.ts and import reactive forms module from angular slash forms. Also, make sure to add it to the imports array. The reactive forms module gives us access to a bunch of different classes and directives that are necessary to build reactive forms. Out of those, two classes make up the building blocks of reactive forms. They are form group and form control. Here's the thing. In reactive forms, the form is represented by a model in the component class. And to be able to create that model, we make use of form group and form control classes. In our demo application, we have three form fields. Username, password, and confirm password. Each of these form fields are defined as an instance of the form control class. And the overall form itself that encompasses the three form fields is defined as an instance of the form group class. So basically, an entire form is represented as a form group and each form field is represented as a form control in the component class. Let's understand this better with code. I'm going to go back to VS Code and open app.component.ts. In the app component class, I'm going to create a new form group instance that represents the user registration form. So registration form is equal to new form group. Make sure to import the class from angular slash forms. The next step is to initialize this form group with an object of controls that are present in the HTML. Our registration form has three form fields, so let's specify them in the form group constructor. Within parentheses, we are going to have an object. And this object contains three instances of the form control class. One for username, one for password, and finally one for confirm password. Now, if you wish to have a default value for any of the form fields, you can pass that value into the form control constructor. Let's add a default value to the username field, Vishwas. All right, now our form model is ready. The next step is to associate this model with the view, which is our HTML form. For that, the reactive forms module provides us with certain directives. On the form tag, we use the form group directive and bind the registration form group. Form group is equal to registration form. To bind each of the form controls, we use the form control name directive. For username, form control name is equal to username. For password, form control name is equal to password. And for confirm password, form control name is equal to confirm password. So what we have done is create a one is to one association between the form group, form controls and their corresponding HTML elements. The entire form is associated with the form group registration form, this right here. And each individual form control from the model is associated with its corresponding HTML element, username, password and confirm password. So we have now created a communication layer between the model and the view. To visualize the communication, let's use interpolation on registration form with the JSON pipe. Registration form dot value and the JSON pipe. Now, if I save this and head to the browser, 
You can see that we have the three input fields and the username field has a default value of Vishwas as specified in the form model. At the bottom, you can also see the form group value. Username has a value of Vishwas. And when I type in a password, the value gets updated and similarly the value for confirm password as well. And there you go. We have created our very first reactive form. It is a pretty simple form, but serves the purpose. So to summarize, there are three steps in creating a reactive form in Angular. First step, define your HTML form in the component template. Second step, define your form model in the component class. Third step, use the directives provided by the reactive forms module to associate the model with the view. And at any point in time, form group dot value will provide the value of the form which can be posted to the server when required. All right, now that we have a good understanding of how reactive forms work, let's take a look at a few more concepts pertaining to reactive forms. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.